All right, talking about uh, Shopify Priceless. Now, in full disclosure, Priceless were literally launched as I was recording this video, but because I'm using a demo store, it's on the dashboard, and I promised you guys we were gonna walk through things that were on the dashboard. So let's head over to our screen. Now, I'm watching this course, and it's relatively out, relatively soon after I put this out, you are probably not gonna have Priceless on your menu because they usually roll the things out staggered. But if you do, and you're lucky enough to have Priceless, we're gonna show you what it's all about. So if you go under pro uh, products and you come down to Priceless, it's gonna give you a menu like we normally had before. We can export our Priceless. Uh, again, if we go and select the export, nice and consistent, looks exactly the same as all of the other exports. Um, and then we have import, which will allow us to import our prices uh, for a specific price list. So uh, there is a sample CSV on here as well. It's much simpler than what a product CSV is. It's going to contain uh, your product title. It's going to contain, contain your handle, a description, um, and then it's going to contain just the options, what your variant option, option one, option two, option three, and so on. And those are the options that you're going to import in from your price, your variant options. Um, the next thing you want to do is if you go to create a price list this will give you the option to create a manual price list now once you created a, a price list so let's go sample price list we have the option to add a company to it now I'm gonna hit save so that we can see exactly what everything looks like uh, we have our title we have our draft whether it's active or a draft um, this price list contains all products so this is gonna apply to all products inside your store it's going to have the currency. Uh, we can't change this currency yet because we don't have multi-currency set up on Shopify, but we will do that at a later time. And then we can decide what our price adjustments and increases are. So if I wanna decrease the price by 10%, I can go in here and I can save that. And then when the customer logs in, they are gonna be able to see prices 10% reduced. Now, the way you do that is you add a company. So if I'm gonna hit add locations here, I can go and add a company that I have added to um, the Shopify store. Now companies is something that we're gonna go on over underneath customers. So let me just hit save here and I'm going to go over this here. So under customers, you're gonna now see companies in here uh, and companies is gonna allow you to set up B2B companies. We'll get to that once we, we get over to customers. Um, but back over to price lists, once you've gone and set up a price list, then you can import your products to it. Um, importing your products to it, and then you can go and adjust prices manually. So if we wanna set prices manually, we can go into a particular product. So say for example, this uh, Adidas Classic Men's Backpack, we actually wanna offer it to them for $50 because our sales rep um, has gone and sold it for that amount. So we can go and do that, and now we have a fixed price that they're gonna be able to pay for that we can go through all of the products on our store and set price overrides so that when a customer goes and logs in, they're going to see different fixed pricing um, for a particular uh, items. Additionally, um, they're also going to get a price a decrease on all of their items for 10%. So um, it's kind of like a two, uh, a double discount there that they, that they can use. <laughs> All right, that's just a, a quick overview. I honestly haven't had time to dive into all of the things that price lists uh, have available because, uh, like I said, it was just released this morning when I was building this course. So check back often, and I will update this video once we have some more information on price lists.